Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to the channel. We have to keep a little profile and blend in. But anyways, yes, welcome back to the channel. We're back with more Tales. Ne Is it Nor? I always forget. Nor? Nair? Adar? Shabadabir? Kadabir? Shabadabir? Ashabadidibir? Yes, like that. I know. I'm a genius. It's okay. Calm down, guys. Don't need to get jealous, because how smart and cool I am, okay? No need. No need. But yeah, we're in Science City, I guess, and we're gonna continue on on Act 3. So we're about halfway done with the game, because I, I know there's five acts, so like the trophies, there's five acts. So we're, we're all, we're getting there. But yeah, so it's time to blend in and keep a little profile. I need to find Eddie, whatever it takes. Da, 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 join the tour. Welcome once again to Science City, where imagine tomorrow. Please pay attention. Do not attempt to leave the group and enjoy follow me. I have a quick question. I'll be encouraging questions after our first stop. Do not interrupt me. Okay, I'm sorry. I just wanted to learn. Here we have a stunning mosaic to pick. <laughs> the beginning the Great Shepherd Commission 10 years ago by the previous science minister. Let's discuss the symbolism of it. Ah, the split crook is a symbol from which the shepherd gets his name. The inner fire represents the shepherd's wrath over the unruly. And of course, the scales of fate with which we weigh each of his new pro proclamations. And behind it all, the glorious wall, the shepherd's great work, which figuratively and literally project, protects his followers from the malice influences of the outside world. Oh, alrighty, cool, good job to her. Before we move on, any questions? Was there something you you didn't understand? What's this? The Im image is made up of many thousands of tiny pieces of painted porcelain a ceramic made from heated clay very time consuming but our praise to the shepherd cannot be rushed what's up with the fruit it represents the shepherd's love and understanding of nature grapes pears apples all delicious nutrient and native to the land what's with the cogs and steam that section depict depicts industry the great work and scientific advancements of our kind are capable of where are the toilets <clears throat> there'll be a schedule bathroom break later on in the tour no more questions moving on follow me let's go raccoon down the case ready to eat some ass make sure everybody perish oh sorry <clears throat> Uh, next up, this bus was erected in honor of Harrison Jeffers, one of the founding community for the Science City and its principal planner. Mm -hmm. uh, go on. Interesting, Mr. Tua God. Very interesting. You're so very interesting. Yes. Jeffers was a lifetime devotee of sacred ge geometry and designed the interior architect. architect to mimic natural structures and process. What's sacred? It's a concept of recurring patterns found throughout the natural world. When used in archer check or design, it's it's said to invoke feeling and calm of whole and wholesomeness. Oh, that makes perfect fucking sense, I guess. Uh what's the deep build? He has some his most notable other works are the City Art Gallery and the Sun Towering Buildings. He was the most uh, prolific architect of his generation. Got it. So, ooh, I oh, I had a question. If our science gets advanced enough, will we be powerful as a shepherd? Uh, we should never have that kind of power. Of course, I agree. But in many ways, we already are, given we all carry the shepherd within our hearts. Each technology advances a shepherd glory. Okay. Cool. I don't believe you. This is the gift shop. Oh my god, look at our gift shop. You buy, you 
buy all our stuff right now. We need you to bend. We need the money. <sighs> There's plenty of fascinating sites though to come, but don't forget to stop by our gift shop afterwards and come right the visit with a miniature replica of the building. We didn't make more sense. Hey, yeah, look, I don't plan the tour route, okay? I just do the script. You want to take over? To buy a tour of, of the labs. Uh, I'm afraid that's... Uh, uh, mm. I'm afraid that is not on our list of VIP experience days. No, the labs are sensitive working environments. Should we go? And we'll continue. Let's go. Uh, but I wanted to go to the labs and look at the sensitive work so I can expose you dumb mother truckers all the time. Duh. Here you you could see a perfectly scaled replica of the entire building besides an actual laboratories you might notice the amenities of families that live here such as the rooftop gardens or sports facilities this place is huge this building is 112.47 meters tall and contains 17 floors the replica is perfectly proportional our family's allowed to leave but of course other fa faculties are such that they really need to we spare no expense when it comes to those responsible for the scientific advancement of the city folks here have everything absolutely we are very proud of the support we are able to provide the city's biggest minds i want to ask how many people work and live here Of course, uh, current resident population is 287 out of which 81 are working here. We have the means to accommodate more as our family grows too. That, 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 like, mm, interesting. Moving on, this lab has been specifically set to set up to give up the idea of what's going on in the upper levels. It's a real working environment. Ah. But of course, it's only being used for routine calculations. Plenty of what we do is very sensitive and potentially disturbing to the untrained eye after all. How disturbing. I think I misspoke. It's just that experiments can often look imitating when they're actually perfectly safe and control. All right, okay, let's move on then. So you don't want to keep asking too many hard questions because they get suspicious of you. I called up. Who are you again? Do we have to kick your ass and fuck you up? I was like, no, I don't want to die. Please, leave me alone. I'm sorry. I won't ask these stupid questions. I'm sorry. Leave me alone. It's like, no, fuck you. You're already asking me these questions, dumb bitch. Like, I kind of vibe. Um, at least that's the kind of vibe I kind of get. But anyways, I don't know. Let's look closer at life with, within Science City. Have you ever wondered what one of our famous scientists living quarters look like? Always wondered. But now you can find out each room is full of experimental technology and appliances being tested before being made available to the general public. Uh, so the residents are being tested on? That's certainly one way of putting it, but I assure you, only for their own benefit. You won't hear any complaints from our residents. So, no, sir. Uh, as I said before, the confirmation here is to reserve for Science City workers and their families. Okay, I see what their lab looks like. We display an example laboratory set up for precisely that reason. Fascinating. On we go. Well, now, stop for a short refreshment break. The restrooms are around the corner. We'll resume the tour in five minutes sharp. Uh, the wait up. Just catch up. Um, uh, just catch up with us down the hall, sir, or don't. Wow, they really just like, uh, 
Let me just look to good old school days. Yeah. I was like, I, I feel like moving forward would just be a terrible idea, but we're there. Let's see if the elevator works. Uh, okay, look at the biochemistry labs are on floor five. I'm coming, Eddie. Where are you, Eddie? I feel like I should be crouching. Uh, so biology, but small. Where they are testing in there, it doesn't matter. I have to, I have a wait. I have a gun, so I don't care what they're testing. That makes perfect sense. Well, let me search. Newspaper. Hmm. Might have to read. Uh, might have to read later. Nowhere safe from the proper kind of shit. No, sir. No, sir. You. Are you lost? It doesn't look like you should be up here. Uh, I'm helping Eddie Young. Oh, that's such a thing. It's stressed lately. I'm glad he's getting some support. Uh, What's life like here? We got all the amenities. It's safe. People here have education, supposedly. Uh, are you applying? Nothing you don't already know about yourself. Uh, I'll let you free that yourself. That's the fun part. Great. Uh, any other tips for a newbie? Work card, kiss ass, don't fuck up. That I can. That's the spirit. Uh, he's seeing you, I guess. Wish I had time for a cuppa. I'm surprised that more is suspicious of me, but hey. Fishies! Matthew. How do you... You lost to me? Or how are... How are you lost? I separate from the two groups somehow. Not trouble am I. Uh, not with me. Oh, would you like to take a photo? Would you take a photo, please? A photo of you? Yeah, make sure you can view the shot. Sorry. No, pretend like I was never here. Don't know what you mean, but okay. I'll have to take one of myself. If only there was a cool name for that kind of photo. Uh, me snaps? That's so rad. I'm totally using that from now on. My gift to you. Bye. For fine day for it, sir. Eddie, hey, you know Eddie Young. I really don't go in for gossip. I just focus on green people. Uh, this isn't gossip. It's part of. Sorry, sir. If I know who the guy was, I really tried my own business. That's okay. So I can't help. I'll just go back to pruning. Are you guarding here? And proud of it. Three years next week. Our green space have really come a long way in that time. If I really may say so myself, you may say so. Well, I started a sy systematic re repotting of the existing plants. But my main achievement is my cross pollution program. What does that involve? Making tiny. Plant mu mutates. No, that sounds scary. Basically, I'm making crossbreeds of various kinds of plants. Uh, that sounds very big brain. Big brain. Alex has a big brain. Big brain. Big brain. Big brain. I'm not technically a botanist, but you know, I dabble with plants. You just have to feel it and listen to them. Uh, good that you love your job so much. Other scientists here look down on me, but I get to spend all day working with plants, so joke's on them. Just left the flower. Mmm, <sighs> flower. If I start, I'll be able to stop. Here, I have work to do. Is this Eddie? Oh, look, I found Eddie. 
<laughs> Lady Alex, Eddie was right there. How do you not know Eddie? I'm on break. Dr. Harry, I'd like to get some advice. I am. Uh, uh, your real inspiration to me, yeah? What exactly about my work has inspired you? Uh, you know, the usual. Everyone talks about you. I don't know what you're buttering me up, but I'm basically get it. I dig it, idio. Just walked off. I mean, I did kind of fuck up the... Oh, it looks beautiful today. Uh, I did really bad at questioning him. So I'm just... Oh, man. Where did he go? We can read the newspaper right now. I feel like it's a bad idea. But we're gonna read some newspaper, you know. Oh, that's exactly what we need to do. I was like, why is he going back out there? We were just, he was just out there. Do you want lab one or lab two? He's just sitting there. He's alone. This is my chance. Did it say threatening? I have a gun. Okay, calm down. Wow. This shit took a 180 real quick. Like. Down. One son and you're dead. Is this necessary? What do you want? What do you want, man? You know what I want. Shut the fuck up. You know why I'm here, you fucking monster. How could you do this? I actually forget. I forget why we're here, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Answer my questions, I understand. Yes. What are these plants? Let's see allergy. I'm testing your photosynthesis properties. Uh, what am I looking here? A new virus, perhaps? The plants, uh, the green clumps are merely nucleus and chloroplasts. Machine four. Well, one is my radio, the other is a signal generator. Now, let's see if we can get the truth out of you. Ah, oh, man, do we have to beat up Eddie some more? I mean, I will. Who are you? I'm the one to ask you questions here, bitch. Don't you talk back to me. Like, wait, just don't get angry. If the answers don't fit conveniently together. <laughs> what is Project Art? Where, where did you invent such... That doesn't concern you. Well, it sounds ludicrous. If there was such a project going on here, I'm sure to prefer you. <coughs> you better think again. I honestly don't know what you're talking about. What's your connection with connection? I've never met her. And then how does she have blackmail on you? What? You're the only one with unhealthy interest in me. Clusters in this in this lab. Why? I why would she? I have no idea about it. I don't consort with criminals. So you know she's a criminal. How? I don't know. I heard about it about her. I never met her. But you certainly met Gina. Uh, who? Baby Gina, ring a bell. No, sorry. You're a fucking liar, Ellie. I'm sorry. It's, 
it doesn't fit nicely with your conspiracy theory, but I'm telling the truth. Was uh, why would I have any relationship with you? Uh, because he asked you to keep a secret. If he did, I told you he didn't. Would you believe me, anyways? You take secret orders from him directly. No. There are strict protocols here. Chief Tanner has the final oversight. You need to think about twice about lying to me. Look, I'm doing important work here. Work that will help us fight disease. Understand our bodies. I'm just doing my job. I'll be the judge of that. Being honest with you. Tell me about yourself, Addy. I'm a biochemistry. Worked here virtually my whole life. I'm devoted family man. <sighs> Be ashamed of something up to you. Yes, and I think we'll shame. That's why I wouldn't rescue anyway. Her river tracks. Ball takes this one slip up. Um. I'm not doing what I told. Uh, then you better do what I tell you. Of course, Eddie, I know you're not telling me the truth. What? Don't be ridiculous. I told you everything I know. Please, be rational. The simple... This is usually the truth one. Chris and the science minister are using you. I don't understand what you're saying. I don't want to fucking hurt you, man. Uh, just say the words, man. Well, look at me... Look at me for something sharp. Please stop. Please stop. Don't do this. You don't have to do this. wonder what happened if I stick these into your eye socket. Wait, okay. I'll show you the artifact. Good. Uh, that would have been messy. There's a secret entrance behind the shelf to the left. I'll give you the tour. Use your word, Daddy. What's in there? Technology I'm researching. Impossible to describe. Please. Uh... uh... He's not moving. Uh, yes, my laser. What are you doing to them? Basically explaining by showing what happens to them. Oh, but it doesn't upset you to learn that. They're blah, 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 research. Let's get to the point, Eddie. Weird skull. Fascinating, isn't that? What is this? We don't know exactly. Evolution is not really my specialty, but it's clearly a symphony at fine. Whose school is this? Either some kind of ancestor or extinct kind of extinct kind. Never seen anything like it before. Show me an artifact. A lizard man. This is Durley V. The fuck am I looking at? That? This is what my sister has been working on. Uh, this feels wrong. What the fuck? This is science, right? Wrong. All it matters is the new understanding. Start explaining. We're experimenting with a combination of DNA splicing species. Daryl V is a combination of lizard and canine. Why? It's the artifact. I can control it. I teach it. What the fuck are you talking about? Talking about the artifact. Show me. It's there. And that has... Mentana, let's go. Why does it need so much protection? The greatest scientific puzzle and opportunity of our life, of, of our time. I alone get to study it. What did you learn about it so far? The advanced organic biotechnology it rapidly forms organisms. But we haven't figured out the patterns or intent yet. Uh, aliens. No, not aliens. The process is usually our, it uses our events, but they're still within combines of our understanding of biology. Who found it? I don't know. I am dark. I, I'm as in the dark as you are about exactly where it was found. Who could have made it? I have my own private theories, but it's one of those to spec- Sanzu. So 
I look at myself in the mirror every day. I'll be okay. Mm, just be careful. Don't touch anything. There's still so much we don't know about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking... It's like a the symbiote, right? If it's a living... I think it's like a symbiote, like for Venom. Now we have the artifact. Oh, we're fucked. This is turn to, turning into the, the Venom storyline, isn't it? I never see, actually. No, I did see the Venom. Yeah. So that's it. Oh God. Oh god. Shit's about to go down. I was like I was like, well what's this? I just cried out and I was like, wait, no, there's that parade going on. Move it, busters, get the fuck out of my way. Move it, move it, move. Uh, uh, fuck. It's getting fucking trippy. The fuck is that float supposed to be? I guess maybe the shepherd. The shepherd fella seems ridiculous. Uh oh, I'm about to black out. I can't see anything. The god, the the, the shitty static music. Oh, the, there's the music. Wait, why is that me? And the book chick fighting the fuck's going on burn, burn, burn. I, I, now I'm walking in water what the fuck is happening pretty sure we passed foxy burger already oh that, is that Clarissa might be Chris. Oh shit! This might be a symbolism for something. Is that me? And uh, yeah. No, I am becoming God. Is that what this means? I am the shepherd now. Oh, I am God, bitches. That's so weird. Call mom. Mom, I need you to save me. This place is dangerous. Is this just like an endless loop or what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that behind me in that float? Oh god, I just killed my friend. <gasps> I just killed my part my true partner in crime, my cab driver. Hex oh man, I think it was pretty shorter. Um we change, but with change nothing. I'm in my apartment. Time moves through you and you stand still. You are alone. Uh, I like being alone. Nobody will understand you. You're just a projection inside their heads. I want to be moved. There's no nothing moves you anymore. All the people you thought you were and are long dead. Every day you die and knew you felt all their to feel imagine her moving me her face is covered in a thin red veil her black 
gaping mouth and slapping at you. How silly, how small, how insignificant. What's my purpose? To change, to change nothing. I don't want to change. There is always a the last time that you see everyone. There is always a never again. I exist again. Alright, some weird freaky shit's happening. I think we have to take a moment, breathe in, and be like, what the fuck the fuck is going on? Alright, so with that being said, we get an episode here. We got to. Too much crazy shit happening, so I appreciate you all for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.